Hello everyone and welcome to my page, Messages from Venus. This is a video review of the Wisdom of Mary Magdalene cards by Sharon Hopper or Hooper. Um, and the cards were illustrated by Susan Lovett. Love it. Excuse me. Um, what I am going to do is that, first of all, I'm going to review the cards at the after I do these announcements. Um... I have a 40% off sale going on right now on my shop using coupon code GATEWAY44 from now until February 18th. If I'm not mistaken, the information will be listed below. Uh, my brother is also um, created a GoFundMe account because he needs uh, a $5,000 goal to go to Puerto Rico and play um, with the what I believe is called the little leagues um, the information to the GoFundMe account is listed below as well and wherever else you can find me on social media I'll be promoting it all until we reach the goal of five thousand dollars now if you donate money to my brother or you go fund my my brother please send me a message wherever I will be looking at my messages I will also do a separate video in regards to how it will work you will get a free sample of my prosperity oil um, with shipping and handling and everything included. So please um, check out for that video. So just in case the plans change, I'm, I think I'm going to have people choose between um, the unconditional love oil and the prosperity oil um, is what I'm going to do. That's what I've been promoting for the past, I don't know how many hours. How many minutes I've been doing videos for hours. I still have one, two, three, four, five, five reviews to do besides this one, okay? It's my goal. I have a lot of videos that I have to make up to you guys. Um, so without further ado, this is the review for the uh, the Magdalene, uh, the Wisdom of Mary, of Mary Magdalene cards by Susan Sharon Hooper and the cards were illustrated by Susan Lovett. So this is a little booklet that you get. I don't have the uh, card, uh, the box that it came in, but you guys can check it out. Um, this is the booklet. You get a lot of information in the booklet because it gives you a background in regards to where they, um, or where Miss Miss uh, oh, Miss Hooper. I hope hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, got the information from um, where in. So, quote unquote history they got the information from and it's all in this little booklet it's a nice little booklet if you want to learn about mary magdalene this deck is great for number one your collection and to connect with her i know tony carmicelano has his own deck but this deck is fantastic now the deck is separated into faith knowledge wisdom and love um the back of the deck is not anything that i love or anything that would remind me of Mary Magdalene, but it's their choice of artwork. Um, so the cards have different depictions of Mary Magdalene, right? And her associations with the Gnostic Christ, with the Christ that people know in the uh, Old and New Testament, etc., etc. And it also has different quotes from different books, such as the Pistis of Sophia, um, different books like The Thunder, Perfect Mind. And it also has different depictions of Mary Magdalene, right? Because it has her here. And then it has her here. Oh, I just hope this is not... Okay, then it has her here again. Then it has her in this first picture that I showed you, which this is the photo or a remake of the photo of one of the... Um, uh, the Bible of Mary Magdalene books. So then they have her here. So however you choose to see her, they have different pictures of her because she is known to be basically a shapeshifter. <laughs> She's shown in different ways <laughs> um, to people. The cards are absolutely fantastic because you can... Pick up these cards if you're feeling down one day, if you just need clarification on your day, like daily spreads, daily pulls, um, even love. It's mostly about love and like unconditional love. 
if you really think about it. Look, they have her here as the blonde girl with the alabaster jaw. They have different symbols and vessels that people um, see her in and know her as. They also see her here as some sort of a depiction of um, also, or another facet of Archangel Michael. They have her here as a divine mother. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, I absolutely love this deck. They also have her here in associations with the story of Adam and Eve. Uh, I can totally relate. I will do separate videos in regards to dreams that I've had. And it's the only reason why I'm sharing these dreams is because it has to do with certain stories that were told and it's a way of her communicating with me as well it just in case you guys don't know she is a spirit that i work with a lot via other vessels such as aset such as kuan ying such as um uh, mama chumbi also known as not mama chumbi oh my goodness um santa malta the dominator so yeah I see different facets of her everywhere. Uh, Oya as well. <laughs> so, this deck will definitely give you a different perspective of the role of Mary Magdalene in your life and in history as well. And you can see her as part of the all as opposed to just the girl with the red hair. It's the single most annoying thing on the planet, actually. Um, <laughs> you can see her here as as the gypsy as well, <laughs> or how the the Gospel of Thomas depicted her, <laughs> gypsy looking girl. You can see her here as the Holy Spirit and the cosmic egg as well. <laughs> Tell you, I love it. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I can't say enough about this deck. I really can't say enough. I love the way it was put together. The cardstock is not the greatest, but it's like glossy, but then paper-ish looking-ish. It doesn't even matter. I don't even give a fuck. They gave her so many names, so many depictions, and people see her here in different facets of who she is. So if you really want to connect with her soul or her spirit, this is a wonderful deck to connect um, with I bought this deck on eBay um, no on Amazon if I'm not mistaken and it was um, not expensive I don't think the person knew what they were selling <laughs> so as far as the shuffling is concerned you can shuffle them sideways um, like this or you can shuffle them like this they're pretty big cards so you can use them as Oracle you can use them as their own system doesn't matter you can use them as um, cards in her uh, altar if you want um, this is absolutely fantastic like this deck will forever be mine do you understand I will never give it up because it resonates very well with how she shows herself to me and the things that she speaks about so when I see creations like this in regards to her I see that people are also on my same frequency and see the world as I see them and as anyone who can relate to someone else I get very fucking excited <laughs> because it's not the cutthroat I see her with the red hair bullshit like come on come on you're not doing your research and you're not questioning the spirit that's coming forth so I feel like when people create these decks in regards to other deities and spirits or specific deities and spirits such as Mary Magdalene they you can tell they've questioned her you can tell they've spoken to her and have have had conversations with her like Tony Carmine Solano you can tell that it's something within that guidebook that he's telling you but then he's not really telling you he's giving you the answers behind the scenes and that's perfect because that's exactly how she works she gives you the answers behind the scenes. She doesn't give you all the answers to all of your questions. You have to work for it. But anyway, yes, if you want to work with Mary Magdalene, this is a perfect deck to have. Um, I recommend it to everyone. So, um, a shade to the all and love and blessings to everyone. <laughs>